guys, welcome back to. Oh wait. Okay, now that's much better. As I was saying, welcome to my kitchen. Because yes, well, actually, we're making watermelon jello because I wanted to make watermelon jello. So first, you're going to have to take your watermelon, watermelon, not watermelon, and then you're gonna have to wash it because we just got it from the store. I mean, not just like three days ago. It's been sitting, and uh, you need to wash it. You think the store has time to wash? It? Uh, we're just gonna wash our watermelon first. Don't ask questions. I said, don't ask questions. Next, you're gonna wanna cut your watermelon in half. Now that we've cut it open, it's a perfect ripe watermelon. Next! So next step is you want to set this aside for now and then you want to take four packs of unflavored gelatin. We already put one in and here you're just going to put in three more. 30 gram. Take it 30 grams. I'm going to rip it. I ripped it wrong. There we go. This is unflavored. Keep this in mind. Yeah. You're gonna have to keep putting it in until you've counted four packs are in the bowl. Then you're gonna to want to grab one cup of water, just normal water, we have boiled water for later. And then you're gonna to wanna to pour it in to the gelatin. Pour the whole cup. Then you're gonna to wanna to stir it up a little. You wanna stir gently until you get a kind of like transparent view like this show it next you're going to want want to let this sit for two minutes i'll set this over there and let it sit there for about two minutes next we're going to move on to this step we grab anything uh like a big spoon or something else like an ice cream scoop we use a big spoon because it, uh, it ended up being more comfortable so we kind of, we kind of take, wow, I'm literally just cut, oh gosh. Uh, you put, you keep kind of doing this with your watermelon. Ah, that wasn't supposed to happen, but okay. So you're going to want all of this watermelon um, into a separate bowl. Okay, so we've taken out all the watermelon from the watermelon and we only got the sides. Now we're gonna wanna keep the sides. Also, we have to try the watermelon. Tastes like a normal watermelon. Okay, we're gonna take these melons and set them aside somewhere. Uh, okay, let me change this. Like this. And then we don't have a blender, but we do have this. It's a blender. Kind of. And we're going to plug out with... Now we've got this. And we're going to blend the watermelon. Um, And we're doing this to get rid of seeds. You see, there's a bunch of seeds in there we want to get rid of. This is all watermelon. We're taking all the watermelon juice. Now we just have this mushy stuff that we're going to get rid of. 
get rid of because we don't want any seeds or any like weird stuff. We got strawberry jello. You you don't have to do strawberry, but we do strawberry. And you'll take it the bag out. You'll okay, you'll open the bag. Wrong wrong side. And then you're gonna pour the whole cup. Bro called it a cup. That's clearly not a cup, my friend. Oh, good job by not having this same mistake again. Roll the clip. This whole bag into a separate bowl. See, it's in the top. It ended up in the trenches. Not the trenches. What is wrong with me? Fire bag of flavored gelatin. Now we're going to set this bag away and take out some boiling, boiled water. Pour it in to the bowl. Oh God. Now we got that reddish color. Now we're gonna wanna mix a little. Mix it in so like it would stir in perfectly. Now look at this unflavored gelatin. It already kinda got mushed up and that's exactly what we want when we mix it with the flavored gel. So I think that's enough. I don't see any like, any like dust looking things. You know what I mean? I'm gonna pour in the gelatin, the unflavored, into the uh, bowl with the flavored gelatin. I know. Then you're gonna wanna mix them. No, uh, come on, there's little sides. There you go. Mix them for a little. Okay, next we're gonna want to put the gelatin aside for a bit. Then we're gonna move down the watermelons. Then I got a little scoop, not really a scoop. Uh, I forgot what it's called. And then we're gonna get the watermelon juice and pour it into the watermelon. By the way, we put them in little bowls so they won't spill because we had a failed incident where they kind of spilled and the jello didn't turn out to be perfect. So now we want to fill half of the watermelon with juice, half of the gelatin. Do both. Do both. Oh, okay. I'm going to fill, uh, kind of do a little swap thing here. Also, I have to try this. Cheers. Tastes really good. Literally liquid watermelon. Now we want to fill this watermelon half. You want to make sure it's right. I don't want to have a failed attempt. Maybe. I'll. This is when the gelatin comes in. Now you want to set the watermelon juice aside. And then take your gelatin. So I want to take this. Now we're gonna pour, take some gelatin using this. Oh God, that's heavy. And pour it into the melon until it's full to the brim. Now we're gonna do it to the second one. Hold on, I'm just gonna do that swap again. Ahmed, it is. It is. We want to get it right, literally to the brim. Now, now, since we filled this one to the brim, we want to fill this one to the brim as well. All the way to the corner. I think we just might pour the whole bowl in. Mm -hmm. Can I just do that? Yeah, I can. Not equal. We've got our gelatin. Mix the jello and the juice together with a tiny spoon carefully since it's literally filled to the brim and anything might just drop out. One might get this one already looks ready, but it's not because look if I dip, it's liquid. That's not good, but that's fine. Now you want to place your watermelon into the fridge. We had a little errors as you can see, and you're gonna have to keep them in there for around three, four hours if you really want them to be perfect. I'll see you in around three, four hours. Just <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna, uh, for addition,
traditional stuff. I'm going to be teaching you how to make, why can't it, I can pop up. Watermelon popsicle. Icicle. Tastes really good. Wow, that's amazing. First, you're going to want to buy these kind of cups. Doesn't really have to be these, but just like this, this, this. Okay, understand? Now, you grab your watermelon juice that you probably have left over after making watermelon jelly. You And you'll pour your watermelon juice into here. And get it filled. Now, you take your yellow, whatever this, uh, the stick, plop it on. Now, pick this up. Pick it up. Now you want to place your watermelon juice inside of these special figurines into the freezer and let them freeze for a couple of minutes, like 30 minutes, an hour, an hour. And that's how you enjoy the watermelon popsicle. Ice that's good. It's currently midnight and the jelly is literally probably already ready. We touched it. It's pretty much solid. It's literally solid. It still moves around. We've got the cutting board and the knife, so we would cut it. I'm gonna open up the fridge. And then you'll see we have your watermelon jello. We'll take this one out. Oh, oh that is cool. You don't have to be afraid of spilling it because it's frozen solid. Somewhat sticky. I mean, it's jello. Makes sense. I'm gonna take it out of the bowl. Whoa! We'll start to cut our watermelon now. Which direction is it to make it be like that? It's worked. That's good. This one's kind of ripping, but that's good. This is so cool. Like and subscribe if you're going to try this at home as well.